Hey, this is Matt from Investquant. Today is Wednesday, September 29, 2021. The markets have gone sideways today on this day before the last trading day of the month. Uh, you can see here on the charts, I've got the S&P in the top left. We opened up a little bit, tested down, tested higher, tested down again. Now we're testing higher. We are trading within yesterday's range. We've got an inside day forming. We're currently trading above the open, seeing a little bit of strength coming in here uh, right now. But we're trading above the open here as we approach the close on this second to last trading day of the month. So we're going to take a look at what has that led to going into the close. I've selected all four instruments here. I'm a little late on getting to this video, so I'm going to push our time out a little bit more on this one. We're going to go with a 315 p.m. Eastern time entry for this. And the way we'll describe it is we'll say... At the time of entry, which I've got set to 315, we are trading above the open. So I'm going to come into intraday close versus intraday range, hit equals next to close above open. That adds it to the test. That means at 315, it needs to be trading above the open for this to be true. Next, I'm going to put us in a similar market environment. We are uh, below a 10, above a 200-day simple moving average, kind of a weak bull market environment there. And then lastly, in the calendar library, I'm going to grab that unique day from the active today section that says day before last day of the month. So I've clicked on that. It has been added to the test. Now I can click view results. All right, here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 3.15 p.m. Eastern Time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. When it is the second to last trading day of the month, you are in a weak bull market environment, and you are currently trading above the open. And that is at a 3.15 uh, p.m. entry time. So historically, we've got 39 samples in the S&P, 33 in the NASDAQ, 38 in the Dow, and 34 in the Russell. Win rates on these, all a touch light. You've got S&P coming in at 44%. NASDAQ coming in 42%. Dow's the weakest of the group at 37%. And Russell's a little closer to neutral at 47%. So just a touch weak on those win rates. Uh, average moves here, very similar in size for the average win versus average loss on the the S&P. Uh, that's also the case for the NASDAQ and for the Dow. The Russell, the average loss is a little bit larger, but it looks like uh, win rates just a touch light on this pattern as a group here as we approach the close of the session. So hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck the rest of the day, and we will see you next time.